topic today is fashion in media discourse, the Institute of Meaning of Fashion in Chinese Media. Uh, I'm majoring in fashion communication. Actually, fashion communication in terms of the academic research it is very marginal. Uh, 
Louis Dive increased and emphasized fashion importance by making it a part of a social adapt and increased rather than belittling its cost. Because uh, if you have some history background, you must know there is, there was uh, uh, was uh, some uh, some jury laws. The laws uh, regulate people uh, people's dress and decoration just according to their status. That means you cannot wear the dress or use the decorations that uh, don't belong to your class. You must only wear the things belong to you. So uh, before Louis died, the governor uh, renewed uh, some jewelry laws regularly, but just after Louis died, uh, the governor stopped to renew the, uh, some jewelry law, uh, laws regularly. That means everyone has opportunity to wear uh, something you like if you can afford it. So, uh, of course, normally at first, people would like to wear something that belongs to the higher class. So, fashion in Europe in the beginning has a very intimate relationship with class differentiation. And the second uh, requirement is developed economy. If you are very poor, you cannot have enough money to buy food. So, you, of course, you cannot afford something that is uh, uh, that is very beautiful, a luxury. And fashion media emerged at the 17th or 18th century in Europe, uh, accompanied with the prosperous fashion industry. Uh, in Europe, fashion media was uh, thought to be a part of fashion uh, industry. So in the beginning, uh, fashion media in Europe actually uh, should be think something like um, uh, marketing strategies, uh, not uh, a very independent thing, uh, uh, they can uh, grow up by themselves. That is uh, uh, some uh, brief background or history about uh, fashion. Uh, the British uh, sociology, famous uh, Davis, also has uh, a similar view with uh, uh, Chris Mann Campbell. He thinks the, uh, the fashion in modern sense in terms of uh, uh, phenomena should have the uh, videos like this con continue uninterrupted institutionalized succession of stylist uh, to change. Yes, we know fashion as a phenomenon. We have some figures. But in terms of the connotation, what is fashion? We still don't have very clear uh, idea on it. That's why I uh, conduct my uh, research, uh, uh, try to find out the meaning of fashion. My starting point, uh, not fashion in wide sense, uh, and my starting point is starting point of fashion in a modern sense, means after 17th or 18th century, when the sanctuary laws which regulate people's dress or ornaments according to their social status were finally ceased to be regularly renewed. For the first time, people of all classes were permit to wear fashionable luxury dress only if they could afford it. So I'm focused on uh, the concept, not only the phenomenon, but my, as a phenomenon, my starting point is uh, a modern fashion. I'm made in communication, so I uh, limit my meaning uh, in the media discourse, not uh, just uh, not as a philosophy, to uh, find out what the connotation of fashion is. That is my uh, research. So uh, reference theory is the uh, field of discourse analysis theory and uh, Randall Collins social conflict theory. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I'm here. I should, uh, there must be some reasons. <laughs> Uh, until now, all I said is about Chinese fashion media. So I will show my outline. And first part, I will give a very brief literature review of fashion research. And the second part, I will say something about the business to the media of fashion in Chinese media. The third part, I will say something about uh, further thinking of fashion media in Thailand. That's why I am here. <laughs> now the first part. Uh, in terms of fashion research, uh, it is not so prosperous. Uh, fashion wants to be th 
not irrational and justifiable. Uh, even uh, when uh, uh, the uh, very famous German philosopher Kant think uh, fashion is trivial, uh, he think a person blindly following the whims of fashion was without a style. Whereas a man of style or a gentleman should use the, uh, his own power of judgment. Um, in the 19th century, there are some fashion research, uh, we can uh, view it as a foundation of fashion research. First is to address the laws of imitation. Maybe some, uh, or if you are come from the sociology discipline, you must know this. He thinks social change requires penetration of inventions that diffuse through the process of imitation. He will imitate beliefs and desires or motives to transmit from one individual to another. The second, maybe a very uh, famous member uh, in his celebrated genius on the leisure class, Membran argued that wealthy people often consume highly cons conspicuous goods and services in order to advertise their wealthy, thereby achieving a great social status. Though this research are not strictly fashion research, but they are the foundation of fashion research. The, first, uh, the uh, uh, smell is the first scholar to achieve fashion as an academic uh, theme in 1904, uh, he published the famous short essay fashion. He think fashion is an imitation and a sort of social uh, equalization, but paradoxically, in changing incessantly, it trickles down from elite to mass, so fashion cannot exist in classless society. So, a boring no tribe, there isn't fashion in modern sense. Fashion is a societal formation always combining two opposite forces. It is a socially acceptable and safe way to distinguish oneself from others if, at the same time, it satisfies individuals' need for social adaptation and imitation. Because if you were something too strange, too old, you will feel unsafe, though it is unique. You can Imagine if you are naked here, just with some mud on your body, what will it out? What outcome you will uh, make? So, uh, according to uh, Smell, in one world, fashion is a tool of class differentiation in a relatively open uh, class society. Just uh, 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 from just uh, uh, from Smell, there comes the serious uh, academic fact. Fashion research. I think there are two approaches of fashion research. It can be argued. It can still be argued because it's just based on my own research. or a symbolic uh, approach. In this approach, scholars view fashion as a symbol or a set of symbols. First is class. It is the most common way to treat uh, fashion as a class of uh, as a symbol of class. Uh, just like I introduced before, Simon cheats uh, fashion as a, a tool of class differentiation. So means a symbol of class differentiation. And Vembrand also holds the same uh, uh, same view. I think fashion is a kind of conspicuous consuming to present one's social status. Uh, nowadays, Buddha, uh he also think fashion or taste is a distinction of modern or postmodern society. So it cannot be said a symbol of class, but it still uh, has relation with class, maybe hierarchy or stratification. It is the most uh, uh, it is the most common way to achieve fashion as a symbol of class. Later steps. Rujo think. Uh, uh, Fashion, especially the stylish changing, just uh, something of shifting erogenous zone to attract men's attention. Uh, the third is about gender. Nowadays, it is very uh, popular topic in fashion media. Uh, Rose E, uh, she think before 1340, uh, there is no difference between men's clothes and women's clothes. After exceptional fashion industry, there is a 
be a boundary between men's clothes and women's clothes. That two gender have been represented. Uh, the British uh, sociology Pauletti uh, though cannot agree Brown's view, uh, view totally. Uh, she think though the representation of gender cannot be ascribed totally to the clothes people wear. Clothes do help to shape the two opposite genders. So it is uh, changed fashion uh, as a symbol of gender. And there are a lot of identities. Uh, uh, cheap fashion as a symbol of identity and social identity, personal identity, subculture, group identity, ethnic minority identity. In terms of ethnic minority identity, uh, these days there are many research about gays' uh, clothes, lesbians' clothes, uh, how the gays uh, use their clothes or dress to shape their identity. Because there is too many research, so I don't mention the uh, scholars uh, anymore. The second is treat fashion as a set of symbols. Uh, the British uh, uh, sociology Davies think clothes or fashion is a set of symbols, but cannot be easily decoded as a symbol. It should be decoded according to the undercode rule, just like music. You can feel there is something, but you cannot tell clearly what the meaning it is. So, we think as a set of fashion, as a set of symbols, including all the symbols related to social life, so it is meaningful. But it does not have clear meaning. And Campbell colleagues uh, hold the same uh, view. Uh, he thinks clothes or fashion is meaningful, but it does not have clear meaning for people to interpret what you wear, uh, what you um, uh, what you wear, and uh, uh, how you decorate your body. It's meaningful, but it is very difficult for people to interpret. So, in a, I I see it as they are meaningful but meaningless. Uh, today, for the year, she the. Fashion is just a flotation symbol system. It has a symbol value. What is symbol value? Uh, according to uh, Baudelaire, he, he think uh, so. What it, uh, sim some symbol has the value to assign other symbols. So maybe you can say that it's a symbol for symbol, though it is still not very accurate. Uh, in this way, you can find all the scholars' cheap fashion equals to clothes, ornaments, cosmetic, and any material objects. There are second way, a second approach, uh, I think, is non-symbolic approach. The most important scholar should be uh, Bloomberg, Herbert, uh, American sociologist. Uh, he think fashion is not any. Uh, uh, it's not anything can be equal to or reduced into a symbol. Fashion is a collective selection. He think the fashion mechanism appears not in response to a need of class differentiation and class emulation, but in response to a wish to be in fashion, to be abreast of what has good standing to express new tastes which are emerging in a changing world. That means what? That means fashion is under here in the society. So it cannot be uh, cannot be explained or cannot be uh, searched according only one symbol. So he thinks should change <coughs> in, it in a collaborative uh, selection. Partington also holds a similar uh, view, but uh, she treated fashion as a social process by which the different benefits of different groups are negotiated. Uh, Process. Campbell Collins go further. He think fashion is something just related to uh, emotion, not rush. So it cannot be analyzed anymore. That is the non symbolic approach. But nowadays, I think there are uh, maybe uh, come the third way, the link of two approaches. Uh, Kawamura is a Japanese uh, fashion scholar now work in. Uh, New York State, uh, State University of New York in 2005 uh, published a book named Fashion Orange. 
She thinks fashion is a system with fashion belief. So in terms of a system, it can be analyzed just according the symbolic approach. But in terms of belief, she holds the similar view of with that of Bloomer. Uh, she thinks fashion is a system of institutions, organizations, groups, producers, events, and practices, all of which contribute to the making of the belief of fashion, which is different from just a clothing. It is uh, just a concept. So fashion as a belief is manifested through clothing. So it should not be clothed, uh, clothed and itself. That is the uh, third way. You can still be argued because it just depends on my research. Uh, it is the first pl uh, part I give a, a very uh, brief uh, literature review about fashion research. Now, the uh, uh, second part uh, is my research about uh, fashion, uh, many of fashion in Chinese media, the vicissitudes of many of fashion. Uh, Chinese uh, fashion in Chinese media. Uh, can be said based on three uh, important concepts. The first, uh, I call them the cornerstones of uh, concepts of fashion in Chinese media. The first is modern. It comes from 1930s, means urban western lifestyle and mysterious. The second is beauty. Maybe in terms of uh, maybe beauty as a concept to the English speakers, it is very simple. It is beauty. But if you put this concept into Chinese uh, uh, background, especially link it to the political events and the official ideology, beauty is a very complicated uh, uh, concept. Uh, due to time, I cannot explain it uh, deeply. The uh, third concept is called Qi Zhuang Yi. Translated directly into Chinese means very strange and special clothes, similar to old dress or outland uh, dress. But as a concept, it cannot be substituted for all these uh, concepts. But if you consider the unique political sentiment in Chinese, I uh, I cannot explain it here. It Yeah. So uh, there, 
a representation of fashion media. They present themselves as chancellor of beauty. You know, uh, according to the fashion media, they think people should be uh, informed or should be taught how to uh, uh, appreciate something is be uh, beautiful or not. But the uh, relationship with the audience is different it depends on the resource the media holds. If the media lack of enough resource, they will emphasize the unification of editors and readers. If the media have enough resources, uh, for example, they have uh, money uh, from government, if they are deep pocket, uh, they will differentiate editors from their readers. So regarding the issue of beauty in this course of those uh, comparatively weak media, they will uh, it will uh, uh, appear as if the editors and the readers should work together to achieve the target to understand and appreciate it. But to the wealthy media, editors and uh, should uh, should uh, teach and lead the readers to understand and appreciate beauty. So the role is different. One is something like uh, teammates that are like team.